<laughs> I didn't realize how big it was. <laughs> this deal worked out for everybody. I think so. Okay. I got two hot chicks carrying my sign. Well, that's a disappointment, but it's better than none. <laughs> We're gonna walk you through the most amazing place ever. We're gonna document our day because it's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> All right, document. It's like an Easter egg hunt for adults. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So imagine going off for a ride with your babes in a touring car. I uh, know. Especially if they're decked out like that. We gotta go see if we can find some touring car parts. There. <laughs> How come they called them touring cars? Eh? I don't know. Sure. It'd be quite a little statement from getting off the horse and buggy and saying, let's go for a cruise in that. Mm -hmm. There'd be the naysayers, of course, that that's not gonna make it all the way there and back. Come on. The horse will get you home. <laughs> for fourteen hundred and seventy five dollars yeah but they were real dollars back then yeah. if you adjust that for today's money it, uh, you could move the decimal point a couple times click click <laughs> click today is going to be one of the most awesome days ever ken and i get to be pickers pickers slash automotive car parts finders. Anyways, to make a long story short, earlier this year I bought a Model A Roadster from one of our mutual friends. He was a big time car collector. I wouldn't call him a hoarder because he had a lot of cool stuff. So if it's cool stuff, you're not hoarding, I don't think. I don't know, don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> so they're getting down to the point where there's not a ton of cars left in the collection. They've just got a lot of rubble to deal with. And I made a sideways deal with them without really thinking too hard. And I thought it would be a super fun adventure. So I said, I will buy every single Model A piece on the whole property up to an eight foot box truck load for a certain amount. And they said, well, that sounds like fun. So what we're gonna do is basically do like an Easter egg hunt for Model A parts. We are going to go into the bottom of boxes. We're going to go into the bottom of piles. But if it's relevant for a Model A and it fits in the truck, we're hauling it home. Well, that sounds like a challenge. Right? <laughs> and you can see, if you look around here a little bit, that the one thing we need is some more rusty car parts here. Well, we're short of Model A stuff. <laughs> How can you have too much of that? So let's go pick a cool honey hole that's got lots of Model A parts. All right. I come with gifts. Color match. Gloves, <laughs> Good day. How are you? I come with gifts. Yay. And yes. My son and I spent probably three days on that. It's crazy. We found the fifth one. I knew there was five of them. And I wanted to give you the five best ones. That is the best we could do there. Well, 
they are they're beautiful yeah sorry there's a little marking from the plastic but that oh, just wipes it, right off yeah with, no yeah that's, that's wonderful should we go see the car they belong on yeah let's do that um, I forgot to make introductions yeah, <laughs> oh bam um, this is ken ken did you know my dad yes yes uh, i was a visitor here many times uh-huh uh-huh have some of his junk that I took home already. Great, <laughs> great. Well, we've whittled it down some, but you, you're welcome to take more. We're here for that. <laughs> I, I even brought my gloves. <laughs> That's good. You come prepared. Anyway, I think I think she can do the painting. Awesome. On there. Uh, she awesome. Her. She's amazing. Perfect. Uh, and it, it doesn't get done that fine too. Yeah, they look fantastic. I thought they looked great. Well, I'm, I'm impressed. Me too. Because <laughs> we started on just a little chunk of one. We're like, oh, that's going to work out really good. And then we're like, yeah. oh. Because the guy in Spokane we talked to, he's going, mm. like, he think he was afraid he was going to damage it and then not be able to fix it oh. or something. I yeah. And like I say, this is not our expertise, but we felt we did a really good job. Yeah. And like a proper show car guy, I'm putting it right side up. There we go. Yeah. It was one of the yeah. first things my uncle said. The day we we brought the car back from Wenatchee, yeah. we didn't tell Dad we were bringing it, and they made some excuse. Frank and Betty came over, made some excuse to sit in the lawn in the chairs in the backyard, and um, the guy that brought it up from Wenatchee, we unloaded it down at the bottom of the driveway sure. and then Dave just got in and drove it up. You should have seen the look on my oh. dad's face. Painting the red. The red. I don't think so. They look beautiful. Yeah, they do. Anyway. Well, good. At least I was thing. able to give something it back. Like, hey? One of the first things my <laughs> uncle said is, well, it, where's the hubcaps? <laughs> there we go. So I'm warning you today, we're going to unearth stuff. We're going to go through boxes. We're going to go through those bins. We're hoping to find a treasure somewhere. Sure. I, don't, I don't think we're interested in engines, but I think those are like, there's Model A engines everywhere too. It's craziness. There's a lot of there's craziness. There's a lot of craziness. Yeah. We're going to go digging today though, because I think that'll be part of the fun. Digging. I don't know. Just like in the, in those, uh, like in the shed where the Model A was. Uh -huh, yeah. Let's go figure out what's in there. Hopefully we find some treasures that you can sell to other people too. Great, Jake. How are you? It's so good to see you. <laughs> Welcome. Who's your friend here? Ken Helm. Ken. Jake Wadsworth. Hello, Jake. Nice to meet nice you, sir. Nice to meet you. Yeah, and welcome. A, another one of Grandpa's friends. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Yeah, and he's the Model A aficionado, so... Oh, my. When I said to him, how do you feel about going on a Easter egg hunt slash mm -hmm. <laughs> wild goose chase? Yeah. I said, we're just going to go buy all the leftover Model A parts without asking any questions. He's like, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. What does that look like? We don't know. Do you want to have a quick snoop of the stuff that already exists? What do you want to do? What do you want to do first? The treasure hunt begins. The treasure hunt begins. Yeah. Any, any. Uh, we just talked about behind there in the yeah. open shed. Yeah. Which is this building right here. And there was a couple pieces in here okay. left over probably from my roadster at the time. And... Well, I don't know what parts you're talking about, but doesn't that, that Model A shed still have any stuff? Oh, it might, that? eh? Uh, it could, but I think we got most of the stuff out of there. But you are welcome to sure. look at That's perfect. A shed. That's perfect. The, the name's even got a nice <laughs> ring to it. You like that? Yeah, well, there's I'm, no more Model A's in there. But... I'm excited about getting to the bottom of some of these bins and having there's, a quick look, yes. hey? That, that'll be fun. I've already forgotten my gloves because I'm so excited. I've got quite a whack of Model T parts. Did you? Model A stuff is much more drivable if you're familiar. See? Right away. Right away, we got a winner. All right, get over here. <laughs> you thought you were going to be able to take it easy. Yeah, right. there's no rest. No rest. Does that look right? That's a 1930. Okay. Easily identifiable. Okay. There. Exhibit A, he says. Yeah. Mine are in the truck. It's okay. We'll, no, we'll move the truck around a couple times. What is that one? I'm thinking Chrysler, but perhaps Studebaker. They got a little bit of a little dewy like that. Right. 
I'd be one of those two. Well, keep an eye on that stuff because we still have money. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> now, Ken, any point in something like this? Yes. Okay. And that is a See, this is where I think we're going to help clean up, because if you ask JF or a swap meet person, that has no value. But the guy that builds, he probably builds a Model A every two years. He has 10 or 12 of them. Awesome. As long as we're all having fun today, that is the only thing that matters. Okay. Model A? Model A. All right. 1930. What are they, Ken? Larger truck, probably, hey? Running board, splash apron, no. Nope. Oh, they've just been cut down. No, nope, they did them that, in that the year. Well, yeah, we're looking for Model A bumpers. Don't see any. Nope. Nope. They're later. Do you want to see where the good stuff is? This is just about what you should have for your Porsche. It's something a little more delicate. Oh, uh, yeah. It looks like a bumper wait, wait till you see. Yeah, wait till you see where we have uh, the Porsche. Here's the fun stuff that kind of started the idea. Oh, yes. Oh, you, we're going we're gonna to do this two steps at a time, hey? Okay. I'm following you No, no. You here. No, we're good. Here's where it was like, wow, what's one of these fenders worth? But what's... What's a good one? What's a bad one? There are no bad ones. <laughs> you can always cut a piece out of one. So. That's, that was kind of the end result. It was like, okay, well, that's hurt there, but sections. Yeah. Yeah. Shiny black one is the 1930 that matches up with the rad shell. Oh, and, and that matches up with that. Okay. That's so what that fits. So we're carrying fenders. We tried to group them together. That's super. You want this poly non metallic or non metallic one? Well, that's a disappointment, but it's better than none. <laughs> okay. You don't have to put it. Okay? Yeah, yeah. This is one of those days that's super special to get them out of the house. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to try to stack them. Yeah. Inner locking like that. If I can, so you're looking at down there, the put the hubcaps on. Here, I right. think. Yeah, the more we enter stuff. Oops, sorry, bud. No, a little bit newer. <laughs> what about this guy with the light on? <laughs> we'll make him the bottom. I think that fixes that. Yeah, if you just put him on the bottom because he's the opposite. Oh, he's the same. You're right. Yeah. We'll, re we'll restack the truck a couple times, I'm sure. Boy, I remember looking at some of these piles in the gym pass there. <laughs> oh, wait, I haven't started digging into this pile, but... Uh, well, Ken, what do you think so far? It's all good. <laughs> it's kind of a fun way to do stuff, isn't it? Model A axle in that pile there, if you're interested in the heavy mechanicals. Awesome. So this is a pile we need to get into, then. Well, we've been digging already. All right. You look like you're way tougher at that. You never know what yeah. you're going to find, right? All right. Ken, what do these identify as? Yeah, they're Model A spindles, yeah. All right. might be two trips coming out of this. Well, I might have to. It was one truck load. We didn't say how high I can stack it, but that was the agreement. <laughs> oh. Put the heavy stuff in first, right? Well, maybe the heavy stuff just can... I, I think, yeah, we'll just try to be smart about how we load it. Those fenders obviously take up a lot of space. Just make it fun. So that'll hopefully be something we can do because Ken's so close. Is take you for a tour of his place at some point. I just put those guys there. You just put these here? Yeah, off of this pile. So nice. I'm trying to get at these. Nice stuff, eh? These the rear bumpers. Oh, that's cool. Oh my God, look at how cool this trailer is. Uh-oh. That's a super cool trailer. 
You like those drums, huh? Yeah. The wide fives. So are they 36, 35 only? Yeah, 36, uh, 7. 37 only, maybe? 35? Well, well, 36, 7, yeah. That's cool. This guy. Right on. And this guy. <laughs> this, is, this is where we're saving you some trips. <laughs> This guy here, if we can get in there. Right? Yeah. Come on, lay door. The more you dig, the more you see, the more you see, huh? Model A hood. <laughs> and some more of it. This is a little heavier. There's what we're looking for. I heard that. And we want that, that as well. Not much yep. for two-door parts, hey? Say again? Not much for two-door parts, hey? Is this Conway? Uh, yep. Is this Conway? Uh, let's say yes. You know what? Have a plan exactly. <laughs> oh, those are awesome! Look at this, those are awesome. I know. Recognize them right off the bat, yeah, right? Exactly. Like, <laughs> well, we did, uh, we, we did that. Roadster. Ken taught me a super cool trick with yeah. these for mounting headlights on an early car. Really? Yeah, so it's just sort of. I think we're done with this end of the trailer here. One more fender here. One more fender here. And uh, one more fender around. Spare tire mount. Huh. Amazing. Somebody recognizes Model A parts, huh? Did that take care of the trailer? Perfect. Is it full already? No, no, we're halfway there, kind of. Okay. Okay. This, this thing's awesome, by the way. These early Ford wheels on it make it spectacular. Heavy stuff on top of things. Yeah. Flathead, flathead. Oh, 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 treasure. Treasure. Should we see you close? You ready for it? All right. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Know how to get it out. Might not be possible. We'll have to work at it though. Oh boy. That's been there a few decades, I think. Oh wow, that's awesome. Cutie. Cutie patootie. Dump it down. Yes. I think, Jake, your next move you is to do the exact same thing with a flathead guy. Yeah. Because I think once the flatheads are gone, Just like my headlights. <laughs> you're in business. We're going to have another day's worth of work unloading the truck. So right in here. This is probably your root in right here. I 
don't think that's Montelay. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't know. Ask Ken. Ken, is that Montelay? Probably not. Okay. Spare tire kind of cover, but. Yes, that hood is. And I found a whole box of Montelay stuff right here. We're kind of in the Model A Mecca. I think he was yeah. good about putting it all in one space. We're kind of. Oh, good. Nobody ever has one of those. It's got a tag on it. Is this Model A also? Or uh, later? No. What about that Ford no. from the end right there? That's Model A for sure. Yeah. With the fender on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I will. There's, is that one also a Model A I then, Ken? I was going to say, there's uh, one that's buried that under the look like it. But those brake rods in the wad there probably are. Okay. Well, looks like you got to make a trip over here, man. Perfect. That. That's a good looking piece too. So these rods are? Yeah, those are brake rods for a Model A. I think, I don't know where you want those put. I'm just trying to... So what would you say this is, Ken, or do you have no idea? A little later, 33, 34? Yeah, I don't know, but probably. Pickup truck maybe in those years. Brake rods. Oh, Brake rods, that's how the Model A stops. Oh. Yeah, they're non hydraulic. Yeah. That's a good looking piece, too. So these rods are? Yeah, those are brake rods for a Model A. I think I don't know where you want those put. I'm just trying to. So, what would you say this is, Ken, or do you have no idea? A little later, 33, 34? Yeah, I don't know, but probably. Pickup truck maybe in those years. I'm gonna have to take them up two at a time because they're all stuck. Oh, are these uh brake rods? Oh, what's that? Brake rods, that's how the Model A stops. Oh. Yeah, they're non-hydraulic. Yeah. You've looked in here just in case. Just I think we got it covered. Through. It yeah. looks like it's all period, not Model A. Pretty not Model A. Okay. But obviously that radiator there is. Yeah. <coughs> don't rip, don't be rough with radiators. I know. Just in case Ken can use one. There's a bumper under here. Okay. I'm presuming there's an engine underneath there. Yeah, sure of it. Yeah. Somebody had their way with that rad shell. Yeah. Added a bit of character to it. Let's put that right here. Nope. nope. No, we're good there. I'm just oh. going to try to get this out without damaging it. I think you've got it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Too late. It's already had its journey. Cute little piece, though. Yeah, uh, is it going? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, we're trying to help you clean up at the same time, I know it. Huh, is that behind? Whoa. Not much for Roadster or two-door stuff, but fun nonetheless. That's a Model A wheel, isn't it? Uh, no. This one is. 
Yes, that one is. Do you have enough of them? Because that one looks bent. This is a, maybe a good piece here. Kelsey Hayes? It's a five and a half inch bolt pattern, it looks like. Okay, well, let's go look at that total pile of junk over there. I am. I'm wearing off all the beer. You said the magic word. <laughs> We're still looking for roadster stuff. <laughs> good luck with that, right? Oh. Tailgate. Hey, there's a Datsun tailgate for you. I see that. Yeah, I was like, hmm, Datsun. It's got, it's got, it's got some it. character and JF written all over it. My goodness. How do you know me so well? Oh, well, you bought a Datsun. I did. Ah, oh, things I don't recognize. It's too bad. Because that stuff's going to get forgotten. I have a feeling we might be coming back here for some more yard it, art. It takes my Kenny Helm to explain what things are to me, because I don't know. And by the way, yeah. the other day I was looking, people taking back clips of cars, front clips yeah. of cars, and making seats. Yes. And I thought, ah, oh, they go for a couple hundred bucks, huh? Thousands. Yes. Thousands. The problem is, is this... So much effort to do one. Yeah. It's a little bit crazy. That truck is super cute. Isn't that cool? Are you keeping that one? Yes, ma'am. Good. The only I'm things that have to go are the ones that are in the building. Yeah, you need the space to start farming again, right? Well, they're on the insurance policy and they're oh. on the state. Yeah. These are so cute. That one going? Uh, it's not a Model A piece, so it doesn't have to go, nope. Nope, that'll be a separate deal. I'll have to decide if I want them all. <laughs> They're cute decorations, and the problem with them is like one out of three is not bent. So mm -hmm. you kind of, you play the odds on those two. Where do you want to go to next? Do you want to go in the barn? That's what I'm most excited about. Or are you thinking you need a new car? This is quite a piece. <laughs> it comes with it. It's tree powered. It's eco powered. This is the roll down back window car, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And a four door hardtop. Well, not a four door, a hardtop. One of the only remaining two doors out here. I bet if you're looking for that piece of trim off the back of here, you might be looking for a week. Yeah. Or how about that front bumper? Ooh. Well, at least the hood didn't make it far from the car. Yeah, that's still a project to figure out how to get it moved, hey? Well, I did a little pruning. I see that. And I figured if I lift it up, I probably nose in here with the tractor, boom up on the front and get a chainsaw underneath there. And sure. Well, Jake, we sure noticed that you're earning it. It's uh, you're a godsend to the whole family. Thank you. <clears throat> I knew that, you were supposed to say. No. <laughs> oh, he's been working so hard to make all of this work. One Model A wheel. Yeah, well, that's why, that's why every time I'm here, I think you deserve the applaud. And there's something epic in here. There's gotta be. There just has to be, doesn't it? Jake and I this both think so. stuff was buried. Yeah. Still buried. Still buried. The fun of this for me is going to be to see if we, there's something buried that's cool. This, I don't know. I think this is Chrysler is what I, yeah. DeSoto maybe, something DeSoto. like that. Oh yeah, okay. 1950. And this one looks like it's in good shape. So I know a Ken Helm that'll make use of this. Oh good. Look at how nice a shape that is, Ken. Mm. Nice. Windshield here is one. Awesome. Yeah, that's a nice piece that might actually hold fuel. <laughs> well, they get rust. They get rusty, of course, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, Ken, we're going to need your help over in the corner here. All right, sneaking through here. Uh. Climbing through. All right. 
You know what? Look at that. The whole little box. Whole little box of knickknacks. Perfect. Awesome. Does motor that mount. look motor mount. That's a motor mount? Yeah. Would have taken him it. to would have taken him to know that because not JF. JF had no clue. So this is where the roadster was, and that's why I thought there's a good chance this is where he was keeping stuff with the roadster, right? Nope. Yard sale box. Yard sale box. Okay. What about under your face? What about right there in front of my face? This has been a clue, huh? These are actually in really nice shape. That's awesome. What do you figure these are? Everybody take a guess. You were talking ornamental stuff with your daughter. Mm. Oh, that's a stirrup, isn't it? For a horse, maybe? I was going to say, it looks like a horse. Maybe? There was that stuff in this building as well. That's got Pinterest written all over it, doesn't it? Those to me, I'm going to put glass bird feeders. <clears throat> perfect. <laughs> oh, wheels and tires, hey? If you're <laughs> looking... <laughs> that Model A bumper on the top of the pile. I'm thinking this whole box, love. Yeah. Now this, I think, was with the old Model A. I think that was meant for the Roadster at some point. Yeah. Because it matches the one bumper that's sticking out of the car. But all good, all good. Oh, mm. Ken, come and tell me here. Look Would you say that. headlight box? Model A headlights. Oh. You know what's cool about this though? Because Ken uses them just like this. You have to see his cars and how he restores them to. Are we on par here? Oh yeah, that's Model A. Model yeah, A, Model yeah. A. Yeah. Okay. Lose that piece of cardboard or whatever it is on the top and see what the rest of the box is looking like. You getting excited over there? Yeah. <laughs> is this Model A? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And is this Model A? Not that you and I run license plates on much of anything. Yes. Okay. It's hard to find the one that wants to hold your tail light and your license plate. This is fun. Two ways it's fun for me. We're making use, repurposing, at least bringing back to life some of these parts that have been hidden for years. Yeah. I'm going to say some of them have been hiding for 50 years. This will be a question mark for Ken. Uh, I suspect yes, but I I don't know. Definitely not. God, somebody out there is looking for these for sure. We don't know what they are. We don't know what they are. <laughs> so we, so we, we can't even help. Uh, oh. 50 people that need to come to Oh, I think there's more than 50, but... Okay, I'm getting to the bottom of some piles here. I was bringing the flashlight. Get, I'm getting a little beat up. Nope, that's a newer car. Yeah. Yeah, all these headlights. That's cool. They will get repurposed. Oh. Whoops, that's not good. Sorry. Right. No worries. It can go in the scratch and dent cell. Do you right want to get another bin so we could just walk as we're at? walking out, walk some dump, uh, some garbage? No, that's a later model something. Sure. So that's a no. Yeah. That's a no. Uh, and this does not look anything familiar down there either. Bum, ba, 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 ba. Bumper? Yes. Okay. What about those drawers? Uh, I know. Yeah. So I'm suspecting this is the original farm building. When he was a kid, going to high school, he built that Model A Roadster that I've got. 
What about that ring on the top? And it lived light? here for a Is long that a light time. Ring to your right. To your right by your armpit. Oh, right there. Yeah. Is nope. That... Two new. Two new. Good call, though. Door handles. Oh, oh Willie's. Willy Wonka. All right, you're going to grab that bumper and let that suck it out of there. Just look at You've got enough of these, right? Probably. It might or may not be that way. Oh. Yeah. Take more. Take more. You're awesome. Now we're talking. Well, as long as we're not hurting anybody's feelings. Yeah, no, I think that bumper's got to come out of the way. Okay, I got to jump in there. Hang on. Have we looked in these two boxes? One box. This one's there. dead. This is dead to us that for now. No How about this little guy? How about that little guy? Doesn't look like anything Model A to me in there. Okay. I'm gonna put it up on here so Jake can get at it. Emma, hey, are you coming to read us some stories? Well, no. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I didn't actually bring those with me, but I do have the piece of paper that has the names and things, and um, it says May 27, 2010. So I think that's when it was updated. Yeah. But J.F. Lanier was October 25th, 02. Yeah, I've been coming for a while. Okay, so the goal here is to get this bumper out of the way. Because the drawers are going to have something magical in them, for sure. Maybe. Probably not. Or something like that. Famous hot rodder. Who's that? Yeah. Which one? Jim Grant. Oh, there we go. I got it. So these were uh, 2001. He was trying very hard to encourage my dad to sell him the 40 Mercury. Which one? Who was? Jim Grant. Oh, that makes sense. And this, these are pictures of a car he was doing. Ford. One of our good friends that will be on the list is Barry Bloomy. Yes. Do you remember the four-door blue yeah. and white car? That I, was from him. I helped Barry with that car quite a bit. <laughs> All right, drawers. What's the magic in the drawers that haven't been opened in 100 yeah. years? Barry Bloom. Uh, you know the light blue pickup that Jake and Vanessa are driving around? Yeah. That, the 75 came from Pud's Auto Wrecking. Oh, no kidding. And That's so, cool. Yeah, he bought it for 600 bucks. Oh man. These are fun drawers to go through. Willow, Willow Beach Resort Cute. car list. Yes. Oh, where's, where's Willow Beach? That's Pee Wee Quintel. Yeah. The north end of the place. Okay. It used to be like a mobile yeah, park. Yeah, Shane Quintel. It says right there. I got a 42 pickup box here, he said. <laughs> but there's got to be something for keeping records here. Does. Do these pedals help when you're trying to convert to juice brakes? Totally. Whoa, careful. This is an article in the OMAC Okanagan County Chronicle from 2008. We did an article about Dad and all of his cars and his All college. right, all right. <laughs> Well, no, no right? big win there. Yes. About we'll keep looking. He says, I think that car was why I was popular with the girls. Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> and that's how we become car addicts, by the way. <laughs> that, that train of thought carries for a few years. We popular with the girls. However, it doesn't they, go don't away. Realize, they don't realize they attract way more men. <laughs> yeah. I moved up from Vancouver in 1966. And I was driving a Model A coupe hot rod at that time. Uh -huh. And I did the courting with my girl. Oh, is that right? And we're still together. So well, I still got see? the same idea that I'm a player out there with the hot rods. Whoops, it easy. That's how to get a girl for 30, 30 decade course. Work with my mom. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. Making it really cool. Right? Putting the top end of that. Pull out this gas tank back here. Yeah, I, I want to get in there and just see if there's more stuff. I'm still hoping there's more roadster stuff somewhere. Like a couple windshield posts or something. Oh, there's some cool tail lights here that are hard to identify. I'm coming. Oh, I'm coming. Hard to identify. I heard that. Okay, well, another one of these. Ken? I don't know if you can reach it here. That seem right? Sure. See the tag on it still. Gosh. I'm already feeling lazy and not getting to the bottom of these. Go on. Yeah. Oh, I see a pedal yes, though. I, underneath your feet. I see a pedal hiding in the middle. Oh my. That is two exceptional gas tanks. Oh, these pedals are attached to a transmission. Uh, one of those. I'm gonna call Uncle in this corner for now. Sorry, love. More flatheads though. Yeah. That's Somebody needs to figure out how to make a deal and buy all the flatheads and help these people clean up. One more little piece. There's more alternators or sorry, what do they uh, call them flatheads? Generators. Generators, uh, water pumps. Look like Hudson, there is. I'm, I'm probably being deep. shy, but there's probably 50 blocks here. And there's one right there, Mercury. Pretty cool. That's got the badass crank in it. If you know how to identify the cranks, there's bins full of cranks here. So, yeah, think about that for a minute. Uh oh. Is this not Model A? Well, it sure could be, all right. The width of it, shape of it. Are you up on seats or down on seats? Up? What do you mean? Oh, Ken. Ken's. I don't have any. So, we should take that home just in case it fits your car. Box, mystery box, totally junk in there. Fred, what are you doing? There has been a few of those here. Wait, wait, there's a, oh look, there's a chunk of metal in there that's just garbage. The metal inside is garbage? Yeah, yeah, wait till you see it. Bum, 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 bum. Da, 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 da. Oh, that's a cool box. Ford, like early Ford, 50 Ford kind of yeah, thing? Probably. This looks like it belongs with these guys. I don't know what they're for. Whoops, it is. I'm surprised. I thought the truck could be overflowing. Well, let's get busy. All right, let's play, let's play the game then. So I think this looks like an orchard ladder project. Boom, ba -da boom, ba -da boom. Eyes adjusting to the dark. Whoa. So, now the key is to not drop anything on yeah, anyone. Don't drop anything on me. So, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to send some parts down, even though they're not Model A, just so we can clean up a little bit here, too. I just said that. I just said we're gonna take down a bunch of stuff that isn't so we can clean up here. Now somebody's gonna have to get behind me for this hood. Oh, this is... Freaking me out a little bit. 
being right above that red car. Well, you're probably going to be the one to buy it. So. Well, I'll be interested to have that conversation for sure. Okay, so Jake, I'm not, I've got a fairly good grip on it, but don't let yourself get hit in the face with it. Um, if you, oh, you're touching it already. Man, you are tall. Okay, come on. Church. I know. Keep your mouth closed. Mouth closed for this project. There we go. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. Sorry about that. This looks T-bird. Yeah, this. Yeah, he's just pulling the stuff down. This part is going to go right where it was supposed to go in the first place. Oh, nice. Oh, come on now. Come on. This, I guarantee you your dad bought for the blue roadster. Oh, really? It's where it's headed. That brake piece is off of my blade ah, as well. Shit, I was already up there. I haven't looked that far yet. <laughs> but you see this here band that goes around there yeah. with the uh, funny looking bolts on the bottom? Okay, I'm going to try to get up right on the table here. There's a nice steel table. That'll make it easier. I'll look. No, I think we got it. I think we got it. Exhibit A, got it. Exhibit B. Exhibit B. Okay, because yeah, that is Model A stuff all over there. Ken, you want to pull the leg on that? Perfect. <laughs> nope, uh, that'll be good right there. So you think all these columns are Model A then? Uh, I don't think that one is. Okay. <laughs> this one definitely is. How would us? How would we know that, right? So this one definitely is. Yeah. It's got a steering box on this end. All right. Nice catch. All right, coming this way. Teamwork makes the dream work. Nice. I bet you'll be happy to have your shop all cleaned up in the next six months, hey? So you can play with it on your own rules. Oh, you little rascals. This looks to be books. So if I was to drop it on the ground, like, it's not books, books, it's uh, it's like paper. So, I'm, no, just get out of the way. Honestly, that was the safest way to do that. Somebody was going to eat so much. You know what? Grab me one. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about the mess. I guess it has to get that way sometimes to clean up. Okay, Ken, before I move the ladder, you tell me where I'm going. Well, I didn't see anything right else over here. I think right above Jake is where I'm headed. Just a windshield and a little cowl visor. <laughs> Put those little helpers to work. Okay, so this is clumsy. This is coming down, watch out. I think that was a good way to do that. Well, I looked first. This, I have no idea what it's for, but I'm not gonna drop it, so. Here, let me. I don't think you'll be able to reach it. I got it. Okay. This one is as gross as the first one, so stay out of the way. I've seen other parts and pieces that look like this. What is it? A piece of a seat upholstery. Uh, seat bottom, something like that. That's fresh oh. Model A. Glad I didn't let that fall on anybody. Yeah. Thank okay. You, so, we'll do the first little bit first. Rusty old visor for fun. Got her. Oh, a color match. This is coming down with a bunch of dust, so don't stand in the way at first. Yeah. Okay. More gold. 
Whoa, look at that. What is that even? Obviously off an auto car. <laughs> what is an auto car? Oh, a heavy okay. duty truck. Now, this looks like Model A carburetor. Yes. 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 A and B stuff. A and B stuff. 34 Ford again. That'll go with that stuff. I'm just gonna look. That's a Model A distributor, I'm pretty sure. In here? Yeah. Really? Well, our Model A guy is gonna tell us. Ken Helm? That's what it looks like. Wow. Look at you guys go. Mm -hmm. Can I do one thing though? Yep. You want to keep the box? This band aid. Yeah. Well, I'd love to keep the box. And this holds sentimental value to the You family. keep it. This is keep what, it. Keep it. Keep well, it. you can have what's inside of it. They're used points and stuff no, if you want. You keep it. So that's, that's, that's perfect. The band aid and the ammo can, please. Oh, the ammo can, sure. Because we don't need. Okay, so this is, yeah, Model A distributor. I spy another Model A bit. They're literally hiding in every corner of this place. Ta-da! Ta -da. Jam it in the truck. Just a nice little dash that's been blasted. I'm playing the last bit of Tetris. That'd be great. All right. Oh, no kidding. Okay, where else get, do we get to walk? Should we go to that building, the back of it? Model A shed. Model A shed. Model A shed. We don't know if any... Model A shed. Okay, we've got a truck so... full and we haven't even got to the Model A shed. Well, the Model A shed got cleared of all this stuff. I <laughs> oh, really okay. don't think there's a, there's With a steering it. column in there. I don't think it's Model A. Oh, I don't. And you might as well. Not... If it's good on that end. We're fine. Hey, Ken, we missed a room. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Just a Tail couple more. Tailgates and a running board. A couple more cuties to throw on the pile. We better look in here first. Hey? Blink, blink, blink. Blink, blink, blink. Might have to open some more drawers. Oh, 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 wait a sec. The deal's not over until the deal's over. What does that look like? That's a Model A one. All right, look right, it's right underneath it. One of those bumpers. How about these? Yeah, too heavy duty for too what heavy we're duty. About. Just when we thought we were wrapping up, we found another room with more stuff. Okay. Look at that. Is it time to get to your place and go lay it all over the grass and 
enjoy it like the day after a swap meet with a cold beer? Just one? <laughs> That calls it. Time to go spread it out all over Ken's lawn and have a cold beer. It's been a really exceptional day. Hope you guys enjoyed it, because I know we sure did. Cheers. Now that summer was here, it was time for an adventure. Having your own wheels brings independence, notoriety, and yes, hopefully girls. In the first picture were my sister and cousins. With this picture, things are definitely going to improve. <laughs> oh, is that your mom? Nope. No. No? Oh, I can't. I've got no... Uh... Huh? That is hilarious. Ooh, baby. Wow. That's the reason <laughs> to have an old car. Anyway, a bunch of us decided to go on a picnic. The first thing for teenagers was food. So we got some sandwiches, chicken, and whatever we could grab, and a blanket. No, the blanket was to set on to reduce the chance of slivers to sit, must be sit on. Next was emergency equipment, a tire pump and tube patches and a jack. And we gassed up and were ready to go. Now about the pretty blonde sitting on my tee and holding my, my dog. Nice touch, huh? The girl's name was Chicky. She was visiting the area and knew us all. Now it looks like the main thing was to go on a picnic. Except for me, it held the chance for me to impress Tiki with my driving ability and finesse. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing was to show my great ability to start the tea. No small task. First, retard the spark, set the hand throttle, then grab the crank, pull the choke wire attached to the carburetor, and give the spin. It took right off. I hurried to the controls, advanced the spark, and we were ready to go. Oh. Necessary supplies included a gallon of oil and 10 gallons of water. I put on my goggles and cap, and we were ready for our trip to the hills west of Loomis. I was going to make this a mini cross-country race with us the only car. At every creek crossing, we would refill the radiator and our can, pour in some oil, <laughs> probably used, and off we'd go. Probably used. <laughs> It was a very winding and steep road, but we made it just fine. We were up so high we could look down on Whitestone Mountain. I don't know if Tiki was all that impressed, but I thought I drove expertly. <laughs> that is awesome. Tiki, well, she went back to her home and I never saw her again, but I remember her fondly. Well, so, and I'm so hopeful that you <laughs> at some point find a story of the Model A. It really was a honey hole. Look. Honey Or wasp nest. Yeah, wasp nest. That too. Okay. So this is Courtney. This is my girlfriend. <laughs> and uh, she is a phenomenal knowledge on, I think, every car Cars. part. <laughs> Stuff. Yeah. Anything cool. Any, any car part, <laughs> she knows everything. And um, her and I have a love for heels. And it's funny because today... We're both yeah, we're boxes. we're both in flats. It's it's an unusual event, but let's go find that sign. I know where the sign used to be, so let's go see if we can find it. Okay, how many times you walk through here? There's always something different, something else to look at. Right? Uh, I could spend. Well, you know, we come here almost every Sunday. Yeah, those are cool. There's a Camaro here too. Yeah, I know. I and really his mini? I always forget that. Thing. Yeah, the little mini. I like spending time in the rafters of the tea room. Right? Actually, that's... Okay, so no, we're... I think we went too far. I think it's over here. <laughs> we got stuck in the that. Yeah. Squirrel! See? Yep. Still is. I don't know if I can carry it. It's pretty heavy. You're gonna have to care. You're gonna have to help me with this for okay. sure. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize how big it was. This deal worked out for everybody. I think so. Okay. I got two hot chicks carrying my sign. They're my yeah. 
my size. 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 It's my size. She's got boobs, all over it. Boobs and ass. <laughs> Nobody hates that. Be nice to it so we don't scratch it. And put it okay. this side down. Or what? Well, how are you? Mine yeah. like this. You got it? Let me get in there. Wow. <laughs> Did that work, Ken? Girl? Well, that whole operation. Oh, you got a big ball in there, babe. Yeah, You're going to need a. You're gonna need a four by four to not wreck that why sign. Why don't we get a piece of cloth? Or well, well, go, why don't we move it ahead more? How far ahead? Okay, Teresa, get over here. Yes. <laughs> Are you happy? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> that was. I've asked Ken for that sign like four or five times. Doesn't matter. That so. doesn't mean you deserve it. <laughs> Ken, do I deserve the sign? Well, it looks like it does. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Love Perfect. you. <laughs> best day ever. It like was seriously, a best day ever. Really good day. Um, it's not every day that your biggest mentor gets yeah. to spend a day with you. And I do that often with Ken. We celebrate Model A's. We celebrate early Fords. We actually celebrate everything automotive. When it the place we went to get all these Model A parts was the place that I bought my Kaiser in 2002. And Didn't you buy three of them there? I bought three Kaisers from that spot. So long story short, all this... All this car stuff is super emotional for us. We hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I knew that I didn't really want all the parts. I didn't need them. It's they, not all my th they all belong here. Yeah. Like this, this is where they're home. Should where they where they should be. Like every Model A that's out there. I mean, look around. To be here. Look around. They belong yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to have a super fun day for all the stress that we've had building the really expensive cars. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to have a day where we didn't have to fool around with trying to meet somebody's expectations. When we got home and realized that Ken was super excited, he hadn't given me his half of <laughs> what we agreed on. Didn't I thought, worry. here we are. We're just going to trade him for a cool old sign. Yeah. And those of you that know cool old signs know that maybe I got the better end of the deal. Maybe Kenny did. It doesn't even matter. Just go enjoy cars. Go enjoy the hobby with your friends. Remember that we're just doing this for fun. This has been the funnest, most relaxing day we've had. <laughs> this year. Actually, yeah, this yeah. year. Yeah, totally. It has been. It has yeah. been. So <laughs> we appreciate you guys for watching. We appreciate you guys for being a part of this. Like, share, subscribe. It's tacky to say that, but it does help us just figure out how we're going to move forward with this. Apart from that, go make sure you spend some time with your friends and make sure that you participate in their dreams and their ambitions when it comes to cars. This guy has made me. He's the one that inspired me from day one. And if you really follow the story of my life, you'll understand that why I built a Model A Roadster this year. You'll understand that we went right back to the place where I bought the Kaiser and started customizing it in 1997. She had her 2000, yeah, it was somewhere in there. It was like the early 2000s that I bought the car. Created a world, created a world-class custom. Anyways, we did it all. We've done it all. We really don't care to do it all again <laughs> to be the most important people on earth. We just care about cars and car people so enjoy that yeah we're gonna enjoy it with you cheers All right.